Using both columns and rows, I want to return the corresponding value. So let's say I'm using region B as my first criterion. And as my second one, I'm going to use item 5. The corresponding value is going to be 342 and 2. How can I retrieve this specific value? Considering columns and rows as my criteria. To create this solution, I can use the lookup function. That is a very easy function to use. And another function that can help me is going to be the match function to retrieve the column position. So let's say I have here two tabs. The first one is sheet one, where I have my inventory, basically, with all the items in different prices for different regions. And the second sheet, where I have item, region, and price. Whenever I type here, let's say item 04 and a region such as region C, I want to have the correct value. How can I do it? First of all, let's use the equal sign the lookup function. Double click in this formula, one, two, to select. My lookup value here is going to be, let's say, the item 04, that is all the way to the left. Trauma. My table array is going to be the data set where I have all the items and all the regions. That is in the sheet one. Let me select the column A, B, C, D, and E. And I'm using the column A because it's where I have the items, the things that I'm looking for. Okay? Trauma. Now, look how interesting is this. If I click in the formula bar, I have here the third argument that is going to be the column index number. And of course, it varies because column index number is the number corresponding to the column that I want to return. The first column that I have that I selected is the items, and then the column two, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. If I use five as the number, I'm going to retrieve region D. If I use number two, I'm going to retrieve region A, and so forth. So this is the logic. However, how can I make it vary? Because if I use, let's say, number three, I'm stick with region B. And how can I change it automatically or dynamic? So I'm going to show you how to do it. So wait a minute. Comma. Range lookup is going to be a exact match because I want to return exactly what I'm looking for. Double click, one, two, and then hit enter. We're done. Item four in the third column, okay, in the third column is going to be region B, okay, region B, item 04, 154, and 79, so let's check if it's correct, yeah, it's, it's correct, but let's say now I want to change the region, now the region is going to be region A, enter, the price is not going to automatically update, however, if I click in the cell, I can change. Instead of using third column, I can use the second one. Enter. And the second corresponding corresponds to region A. However, how can I do it dynamically? I can use now the match function to help me. So instead of manually type in the number that corresponds to the column index number, I can use the match function to automatically return the number of the column that I need. So let's take a look here to the right and let's use the equal sign match function just to see how it's going to work in this practical situation. Double click to select one, two. Lookup value now is going to be region A, trauma. Lookup array is going to be the first row because it's where I have the names for each one of the columns and I want to match the name of the column with the name of the region that I'm looking for. Trauma. And I want to use a exact match again. One, two, and then enter. Take a look here. Region A 
returns number two. If I change region A to region B, it returns number three. And if I change to region B, it returns number five. But why is that? Region D, number five. Because the region D is in, in the fifth column. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. That's it. So now we know exactly what we need to do. We basically need to copy all this formula, match formula, and paste within VLOOKUP. So let me go back here to the math function, one, two. I can select everything. Of course, I will not select the equal sign, so everything but the equal sign. I can press Ctrl C to copy, and then we're going to use the Ctrl V to paste. However, let's first use the Ctrl C. Okay, now I can hit ESC to escape and then get rid of delete this formula. Now let me go to VLOOKUP again, and I want to click in the cell, one, two, I can get rid of this number two, select, delete, and then Ctrl V to paste. Now what I'm telling the VLOOKUP function is, whenever we have column index number, instead of manually inputting the number one, two, three, and so forth, now we have match formula that is going to automatically calculate what is the column corresponding to the region that we selected, okay? Now let me hit enter, and we're done. Whenever I change the region, region B, the value updates. Whenever I change the item, the value updates. So this is how we can combine multiple third criteria using also columns and rows to retrieve the meeting point. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions or any suggestions, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow, because... Every day has a new video.